Shafi rahimahullah ta'ala, he, he came up with a far more deeper answer in, in regards to the design part of it, the design piece. You know, an atheist asked him, how do you know that there is a God? He said, because of the leaf of shajarat al-tult, which is the mulberry tree. He said, what do you mean? He said, well, the leaves of these trees have the same taste, the same color, the same smell, and the same form. But when the silkworm eats it, it gives silk. And when the bee eats it, it gives honey. And when the sheep eats it, it becomes milk. And when the gazelle eats it, it becomes musk. So he said, who could have made this so diverse in regards to his production if it wasn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, other than a creator? And then he recited, Tabarakallahu ahsanul khaliqeen, the verse in Surah Al-Mu'minun, that blessed be Allah, the best of all creators. So it's, it's beautiful when you think about it that Imam al-Shafi'i was able to derive that from a simple leaf, that there is no way that this, that this miracle could have come from anything but a designer. So it's cause and effect to know that there was a creator, you don't need physical evidence, you don't need to see it. And then after that, coming to the conclusion that this design is perfect, it's beautiful. So it only makes it clearer, and without the Creator, there would be no creation, there would be no explanation for our existence. What then of the beautiful signs, the differences in colors, and the difference in the diversity of all of the things around us, what then do you make of that?